how can we use a ChatGPT for Ansible? My name is Luca Berton and I'm your Ansible pilot. If you never heard before, ChatGPT is a tool developed by OpenAI, first released in November 2022 and is, has a chat-like interface and is trained with a lot of information like massive and apparently is able to solve a lot of problems. So let's see if it can help us developing with Ansible. So long, a lot of things was happening after November and actually the first release was free. Now we have a version 4 and I'm really excited to try. So ChatGPT4 is the OpenAI most advanced system was released in uh, mid of March 2023 and is incredible. I mean, from the type of uh, reply is incredible because it was trained with so many data and is able to mm, correlate uh, a lot of things that uh, is surprise what he can do. He can also do picture, uh, image recognition, uh, identify some pattern. It is really incredible. So now I would like to try out uh, how can do for us uh, for helping with Ansible. So this is the main interface. As you can see, there are a lot of mm, some uh, sample, but what we really want is just this uh, input box uh, and I'm going to fill it out with some simple questions. This is a version of March 14, uh, 23, so it's the latest available at the moment. Ready to go? Let's have a fun! ChatGPT is not the only AI available. At the moment, for example, there is a Google bug that uh, looks like very promising and another one. Yeah, my best bet is for Project Wisdom that is designed specifically for Ansible by Red Hat and IBM teaming up together. If you didn't do, take a look on this video that is absolutely stunning and uh, is about uh, how you can uh, take advantage on uh, the development day to day with uh, Project Wisdom. As you can see, this is a completely generative language and you just type the name of a task and in a blink of an eye, it generates the code for you. So Project Wisdom, waiting for you. So I started to think, how can I challenge ChatGPT AI? So I was thinking about some interesting question and I came up uh, with the idea of just taking the most uh, hit an article of my website and copy and paste and see how good is a chat GPT on it. So let me take a few and see how it performs. So welcome back to chat GPT interface. What you we need to do is just highlight this form, type our question, hit the enter and wait for result. Isn't magic? Oh, I really like this. Uh, chat-like interface, it makes everything more human and somehow it helps also to understand how the mm, deep learning is working. As you can see, it's already uh, sharing with us some code and, uh, well, Arduino? No. Okay, we need to improve a little bit the code highlighting, but let's take a look on uh, the result uh, together. So there are <clears throat> to pass extra variable, use the dash dash extra dash vars or dash e command line correct. You can specify directly uh, the variable and value correct. Yes, you can use a multiple variable mm, correct or you can use a YAML file with a lot of the variable. Well, everything is cool. So it looks like uh, that here is defining a, a variable, my var, in a task. Yeah, I, I, but I would prefer having a full playbook so you can actually use the first code, the, this command line code with directly with a playbook. But anyway, this reply is good. Uh, okay, here there is a variable name and here there is using my var. So it might be confusing for a, a first time user. Also here there is my var. Uh, so I think the quality of the answer is good because there is a value, but you need to already understand what you are talking about. You can start just only with this reply. 
But anyway, ChatGPT response approved. I like it. Let's find out something more interesting. Now, let's try it out with something more uh, difficult, in my opinion, and something that uh, is really impacting a lot of users every day. So configure a Windows host for Ansible. Uh, this involved using the WinRM service, but also setting up a lot of different utilities and uh, it depends by also the type of access that you would like to have. For example, if you would like to have uh, a direct uh, uh, local authentication, if you are using Kerberos, if you are using CredSS, uh, this changes a lot and as you know, you need to set up different variables in your Ansible inventory. So, wow, uh, ChatGPT looked like to be very, very confident in the type of a reply, but I see a lot of PowerShell and why? I mean, mm, this is very specific for the configuration. There is a, a quick way for handling, but on the inventory part is actually correct. Is sharing some uh, variable for the Windows host and is setting an NTLM and ignore the self-signer certificate. Okay, this is a decision that you can make or not, it's up to you, but actually the inventory part is correct. What I have some double I doubt is about uh, how to configure this service. I'm usually using the, uh, uh, the wizard, including in Ansible, that is quite working. So, well, the type of reply is not bad because I think uh, um, it, I need to test it out, to be honest, because it looks like that there are a lot of, lot of interesting things here, but it looks like very confident and this is what is scaring me because it didn't say test in your laboratory before trying out in your, uh, uh, in your system. But anyway, it's not, it's not a bad start, to be honest, but this is the type of question that requires a, a little bit of experience, a little bit of context also. So I was not expecting a 100% reply for this type of question, and this is something that a beginner user usually struggles with uh, configure uh, a Windows host. So not bad, not bad. Ready for another question? Yes, let's ask him how to use date, time and timestamp. This is particularly useful for log file and backup and is using a lot in our Ansible playbook. So it's really interesting how it ended up uh, sharing with us. Okay, so as expected, he know the Ansible underscore date underscore time uh, variable this is great and what is now filter okay this is something that i need to check it out i'm really surprised and what is doing here just using date module i'm not sure if date module exists and never module time zone but this is something that i needed to check it out i was expecting only a simple reply with module date and time to be honest and wow is <laughs> he, doing a lot is expanding a lot okay now let's rewind a little bit okay so first of all he say that we can use ansible underscore date and time he didn't say that this is a effect that we need to enable but it looked like confident and here is mentioning the now filter that uh, in this example, there is no now filter, there is only date and time with date and time. It didn't say all the type of parameter that we can have, for example, ISO, a, the ISO format that is very useful, for, especially for log file. And here, STRF time, no, it looks like uh, this is more, look like more, uh, a little bit more Python. Well, I might be an interesting filter to try. I'm not sure if this is working or not, to be honest. And I, I have no idea what is a date or time zone uh, module. Never used before, to be honest. And this, the fifth example to start the 
change of file is actually working because it show up the modification time of a file so this is, might be interesting but it's missing the important part that uh, date and time is a fact and you need to enable fact so not all the time uh, ready to go but anyway this is a good start so chat gpt you can do it just a little bit study a little bit more Okay, it's time for another question. Let's see if uh, ChatGPT know how to change a user password. Okay, I was already suggesting the solution using the user module and usually a, a user don't know this kind of stuff. Wow, he did! Wow, I'm so pleasant. I'm so pleased about this, uh, uh, this reply. And apparently he read my blog because it looked like very very similar to my solution so mm, let me explain to you uh, is using the um, uh, right module the user module with uh, specifying a user a username with name parameter and on the password is using the password hash uh, with uh, specifying also the salt and this is great is exactly what a user usually is struggling with this user model because uh, uh, for linux uh, you need to use uh, specify this hash function and it's great it's also popping out uh, uh, showing us some uh, one example about a simple inventory and remote user yes i think this code is actually ready to work need maybe some small adjustment for example not directly user but a fully qualified collection name so ansible.builtin.user but this could work so good job ChatGPT. let me summarize ChatGPT is an amazing tool for prototyping or having some uh, laboratory or some uh, idea to start as you can see the type of code is not ready to use and you need to know a little bit of ansible just to understand if this code might work or not uh, because ChatGPT seems very confident about uh, the reply but sometimes is is wrong i mean not completely wrong but the code is not working so to me it's not like a code that i can use uh, tomorrow in my production system but anyway i'm really pleasantly surprised by the quality of the answer because it looked like that this ai was well trained and know about the syntax and know about uh, some concept and wow this, this is great i mean i can't believe uh, how far we can go when a uh, new release will be when a new version will be released when a new advancement with more data for training so I can't wait for this new AI revolution. So I'm going to test all the possible AI and uh, keeping you up to date. From now on, have a great automation day and see us on the next adventure. Bye.